Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone And I will be getting to the point Today we will be discussing about geometric sequence okay. So basically po, geometric sequence are just simply sequences They are just simply sequences with a pattern Of multiplication or division Okay, so ganun lang po yung geometric sequence. May pattern lang na multiplication or division. And that specific pattern is called the R. Sorry. It's called the R, which is also known as the common ratio. Okay? It's common ratio. Now, on the com uh, for the common ratio, the very first formula that we will be discussing would be the common ratio is equals to E sub N over a sub n minus 1 meaning you have to take a term and you have to divide it by the previous term so katulad lang po siya ng arithmetic for in ginagawa mo is you take one term and you subtract by the previous term ito kasi ang ginagawa lang is division so let's have an example po say we have negative 1 6 negative 36 we have 216 and so on okay now on this given, first thing that we have to do before we actually solve anything is we have to check whether this given is geometric or not. Okay? And for us to check whether the given is geometric or not, you have to check the pattern. And to get the pattern, you need to find the common ratio. And the common ratio states that I need to take one term and you divide it by the previous term. Okay? But except for the first term. Kasi yung first term, wala namang previous term sa kanya. Okay? So, say we took 6 and we divided it by negative 1. Okay? So, that is the first. Let's try now the second one. Okay? So, that's negative 36 divided by positive 6. And the last one is 216 divided by negative 36. Okay? Our point here is why we are taking as much as uh, common ratio as we can is because we want to determine that this is a common ratio and when we talk about common it must be consistent okay so let's divide po 6 divided by 1 the answer is negative 6 negative 36 divided by 6 the answer is still negative 36 and uh, negative 6 and we have 216 divided by negative 36 the answer is still negative 6 if it is consistent then we will have our r of negative 6 and we can say therefore that the given is geometric. Okay? So, ganun lang po yung point natin when it comes to this one. You always have to find for the ge the common ratio, which is R, to determine whether the given is geometric or not. Okay? So, next thing that you should learn is the formula for our geometric sequence, which is ang ginagamit natin is a sub n is equals to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. Okay? So, what if in this given, you are being asked, what is a sub 7? Okay? So, applying the formula po, medyo direct tayo, ha? applying the formula, we will have, of course, a sub n. Ito. We will have this one. Okay? It's equals to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, again, kung hindi ko nababalikan, yung a sub n is the missing term, a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n is the cardinality. So, let's try to solve now a sub 7. So, a sub 7 would simply have the values of the a sub 1, which is negative 1. We always put a parenthesis. And our r is just simply negative 6. And our n is 7. So, this is 7 minus 1. Okay. So again, basically, ang ginagawa ko lang dito is substitution. Something that is not new to you. Okay? Mata dapat um, alam niyo na yan. Okay? So, the way we solve this one is actually like this. The first thing we evaluate is the subtraction. The next is we get the exponent and then we multiply. Again, ex subtraction, exponent, and then multiplication. Okay? So, let's subtract first the exponent po. Ang ginagawa niyo po, kapag hindi niyo po ginalaw, huwag niyong papalitan. 7 minus 6 is 6. Hindi ko naman ginalaw si negative 1, si negative 6, and so on. So, therefore, they will retain. Okay? 
their uh, values po. The next one that I will touch would be the exponents. Yeah. You will notice that that is negative 6 raised to 6. So, using your calculators, the answer is just simply 46,656. Okay? So, again, if you would be solving manually po, yung exponent po is multiplying the number repetitively to itself. Kung gano'ng karami exponent. So, if that is negative 6, raised to 6, the answer is negative 6 times 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 negative 6 6 times po okay hindi po ang sagot dyan is ganito baka isipin nyo ganting sagot negative 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 hindi po okay you will notice na kapag nasa lobby exponent then ay yung negative sign then kasama siya dun sa um uh, exp uh the, po the power okay kasama siya dun sa ano sa base pala sorry okay so, kung kasama siya sa base, then of course, you multiply negative 6, 6 times. Pero kung ganito yung case niya, negative 6 raised to 6, lalabas mo yung negative. Tapos saka ka mag-multiply na 6, 6 times. Anyways, going back. So, yan na po yung sagot. Then, we multiply it by negative 1. And any number times negative 1 is equal to this itself, except the sign is negative. 6, 6, 5, 6. Okay, and this would be your a sub 7. Negative 4, 6, 6, 5, 6. Okay, and that is your formula for the unknown, which is yung a sub n, and your common ratio, which is uh, r. Okay, so I do hope you got that. So let's have our final example. This again, just simply discussion po ng ating um, formulas, okay? Familiarization. Say we have um, negative 2, negative 4, negative 8, and negative 16. Okay, and we are looking, sorry, ang pangat ang sulat, negative 16. And you are being asked for what is a sub 12. Okay, of course, before you actually solve anything, you have to check, geometric ba to or hindi? Kasi baka nagsasayang ka lang ng oras, okay? So you have to check what is our r. Ang r natin is again at obtained by taking a term divided by the previous term, taking a term divided by the previous term, and taking a term divided by the previous term. Since basically the answer here is just simply all 2's, then we can assume that our R is just simply 2. Okay? Given the, um, the unknown, which is a sub 12, and knowing the formula of a sub n is equals to so that's the full up. a sub n is equals to a sub 1 R raised to n minus 1. Substitution lang po. A sub 12 is unknown, therefore, you leave it as is. A sub 1, alam mo yan, which is negative 2. Always put a parenthesis. The next one is r. Ang r natin is 2. And our n is 12. Kasi sa nakabase yon dito po. Nakabase yung n. Okay? And then, solving again, do not touch yung uh, anything unless you are evaluating. So, copy mo lang siya. 12 minus 1 is simply 11. And 2 raised to 11, by using your calcul, the answer is 2048. This is still negative 2 kasi hindi mo naman ginalaw. And multiplying this by 2, the answer, negative 2 I mean, the answer would be negative 4096 A sub 12. And therefore, you have already obtained your answer. Okay? I do hope you got that. Familiarize yourself with this given. I will be sending a quiz for you to solve for today. Okay? Uh, thank you everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.